Russian President Vladimir Putin said he could use conventional missiles against the United States and its European allies within striking distance. This if they allow Ukraine to use long-range Western weapons to strike deep inside Russia. Putin made the remarks at a rare and a first face-to-face -face meeting with international news agencies in St. Petersburg since the start of the Ukraine war. Putin said that the West was wrong in assuming that Russia will not use its nuclear weapons. He also warned that Kremlin's nuclear doctrine should not be taken lightly. For some reason, the West believes that Russia will never use its nuclear arsenal. We have a nuclear doctrine. Look at what it says. If someone's actions threatens our sovereignty and territorial integrity, we consider it possible for us to use all the means at our disposal. This should not be taken lightly, superficially but professionally. When asked about NATO chief Jens Stoltenberg's calls to allow Ukraine to use Western weapons to strike Russian territory, Putin differentiated between different missiles. However, he warned that permitting Kiev to strike Russia with even more, with ever more powerful weapons would be a serious escalation that would lead the West towards a war with Russia, a direct collision. The Russian president, criticizing Western arms supplies to Ukraine, argued that Moscow can supply weapons to other countries, threatening the West in return. If someone thinks it is possible to supply such weapons to a war zone to attack our territory and create problems for us, why don't we have the right to supply weapons of the same class to the regions of the world where there will be strikes on sensitive facilities of those countries that do this against Russia? Meanwhile, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky arrived in Qatar for talks with Emir Sheikh Al Thani. The two leaders discussed the return of Ukrainian children and other war issues. Since 2022, Qatar has aided in bringing back dozens of children taken to Russia and occupied territories during the more than two year war.